Let's get started with today's topic. Everyday human glitches scientists can't fix. Number 6. Precordial Catch Syndrome You're just sitting there, minding your own business, when BAM! A sharp, stabbing pain hits your chest, like someone just jabbed you with a hot needle. It's usually on the left side, in one very specific spot. You freeze. You try to take a deep breath, and the pain gets even worse. Your brain immediately goes to the worst place. Am I having a heart attack? Then, just as suddenly as it started, it's gone. Like it never happened. Congratulations! You just experienced precordial catch syndrome. This little chest ninja is incredibly common, especially in teens and young adults. But it can strike at any age. And here's the kicker. Despite feeling like your heart is about to explode, it's completely harmless. Doctors think it might be a nerve in your lung lining getting pinched, or maybe a brief muscle spasm in your chest wall. But here's the glitch part. Nobody knows for sure what causes it. There are theories, but no definitive answer. And because it's harmless and fixes itself, there's no treatment. Doctors basically just pat you on the head and say, you're not dying, which is reassuring, but doesn't stop the next random chest stab from making you jump out of your skin. So your body will just keep randomly stabbing you in the chest for no reason. And science has collectively shrugged and said, deal with it. Before we jump ahead, take a second and click that subscribe button. Thank you. Number 5. Globus Sensation You know that annoying feeling when there's something stuck in your throat, like a pill that refuses to go down no matter how many times you swallow. You can feel it sitting there, taunting you. Except here's the thing. There's absolutely nothing there. Welcome to Globus Sensation, your throat's way of gaslighting you. Your brain is screaming, obstruction alert, while doctors peer down your throat and find absolutely zilch. It's like your throat developed phantom limb syndrome for a piece of food that never existed. Scientists have some theories about why your body decides to prank you like this. Sometimes it's stress literally manifesting as that choked up feeling. Your throat muscles can clench so hard around your voice box that they create this fake lump sensation. Or maybe it's acid reflux irritating your throat lining, making your nerves think there's an emergency when there isn't. It could even be subtle neck tension that your brain completely misreads. The most frustrating part? There's no magic pill to make it vanish because doctors can't remove something that isn't actually there. They might throw relaxation techniques at you if it's stress-related, or antacids if they think it's reflux. But for most people, it's just this bizarre glitch in your body's feedback system that comes and goes whenever it feels like it. Doctors can manage it, but they can't truly fix something this vague. Your throat just decided to become a drama queen, and there's not much anyone can do about it. Number 4. Funny Bone you bang your elbow just right and wham, a weird electric shock shoots down your arm straight into your pinky and ring finger. It's not painful like a normal bump, but it's this intensely awful tingling that makes you want to shake your arm like a madman. Everyone calls it your funny bone. But here's the thing. It's not a bone, and it's definitely not funny. What you're actually smacking is your ulnar nerve. This nerve runs from your neck all the way down to your hand. For most of the trip, it's safely tucked away behind muscles and bones, like it's wearing body armor. But at your elbow? It's basically naked, just sitting there in a little groove called the cubital tunnel, right under your skin with zero protection. It's like having an exposed electrical wire hanging off the side of your house. When you whack that spot, you're crushing the nerve directly against bone. The nerve completely freaks out and fires off a bunch of confused signals to your brain. Your brain translates this chaos into that horrible pins and needles meets lightning sensation. It's a massive design flaw. Why would evolution put such a sensitive nerve in the most bump-prone spot on your body? Scientists have no clue. And here's the kicker. There's no fix for this. You can't get funny bone armor installed. Your only option is to just try not to hit it. And you're definitely going to hit it again. Number 3. Handedness. About 9 out of 10 people are right-handed. But here's the weird part. Nobody knows why. Think about it. Why isn't handedness a perfect 50 to 50 split? Why aren't we all ambidextrous superstars who can write with both hands while juggling flaming torches? Instead, we're stuck with this lopsided human glitch that scientists still can't crack. Your brain decided your dominant hand before you could even hold a crayon. And once it picked a side, that was it. You're locked in for life. Try writing your name with your non-dominant hand right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. 
Feels like trying to perform surgery with oven mitts, doesn't it? The really frustrating part? Even identical twins with identical DNA don't always have the same handedness. So genetics isn't the whole story. Maybe it was hormones in the womb. Maybe it was how you were positioned as a fetus. Maybe your brain just flipped a very biased coin. Scientists have been studying this for decades, and they still don't know. You're stuck being a righty or lefty forever, and nobody can tell you exactly why you ended up that way. Welcome to being human, where even something as basic as which hand you prefer is an unsolved mystery. Number 2. Visual Snow. Picture this. You wake up and your entire world looks like a broken TV screen. Tiny flickering dots dance across everything you see. Your morning coffee. Your friend's face. The sunset. All covered in static. Close your eyes. The snow's still there. Turn on the lights. Still snowing. This isn't some rare eye disease either. Your eyes are perfectly fine. The glitch is happening in your brain. Scientists think your brain's visual processing unit has some kind of permanent interference. Like someone's constantly messing with the signal. And it gets worse. You might see intense after images when you look away from bright objects. Moving cars leave trails behind them like they're in slow motion. Regular lighting feels like staring into the sun. Here's the thing. Doctors can diagnose this thing, but they can't fix it. Brain scans show your visual cortex is firing differently than everyone else's. But there's no magic pill to make the snow stop. No surgery to clear your vision. You just get to live with a permanent filter over reality. Some people don't even realize this isn't normal until they're adults. They think everyone sees the world through static. Imagine finding out at 25 that most people don't have a light show playing in their vision 24 to 7. So next time your glitch is out, just remember, some people's brains are permanently stuck on that fuzzy channel. Number 1. Ear rumbling. Can you make thunder inside your own head? Not the kind that comes with a headache, but actual rumbling sounds that only you can hear? Close your eyes and try it right now. Focus on the space behind your ears and see if you can create a sound like distant thunder or wind rushing through trees or a cat purring directly against your eardrum. If you just made that happen, congratulations. You're basically a mutant. You can voluntarily contract something called your tensor tympani muscle. It's this tiny little muscle hiding in your middle ear that normally acts like an automatic volume control. When loud noises hit your ears, or when you're chewing or yawning, this muscle tenses up your eardrum to protect your hearing. But for some reason you can flex it whenever you want. It's like being able to wiggle your ears, except it's happening inside your skull and sounds like a miniature thunderstorm. Here's the thing. Scientists have no clue why some people can do this and others can't. What possible evolutionary advantage could voluntary ear rumbling give you? Did our cave-dwelling ancestors intimidate saber-toothed tigers with menacing internal thunder sounds? Probably not. Most people who discover they can do this assume everyone else can too. Then they mention it to friends and get stared at like they just claimed they can taste colors. Scientists understand the muscle perfectly. They just can't explain why your brain decided to give you manual control over it. It's not broken. So there's nothing to fix. You're just walking around with a built-in white noise machine that serves absolutely no purpose. You're not special. You're just glitched. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see next videos.